All right, you got what you wanted. Guys, after numerous requests, finally, Pure Passage offers Hajj. Experience the divine journey of Hajj, the most significant act of worship in Islam, performed on behalf of your loved ones by Pure Passage. Hajj is not only a spiritual obligation for every Muslim, but also a symbol of unity, peace and submission to Allah's will. Our devoted team of experienced sheikhs and students of knowledge will take on this holy pilgrimage on behalf of your family members who are unable to undertake this once-in-a-lifetime journey. Our exclusive Hajj package includes the performance of the Hajj rituals, a detailed video report of the journey and a commemorative certificate marking the completion of this spiritual obligation. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Let our team take on this journey for you while honoring their legacy and providing you with peace of mind. Join us in the spiritual journey and leave a legacy that will last for eternity. Be'ith me love. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to do again something that we've never done before. We're going to react to a scary video on the channel Chills. The title is 30 scary videos that are alarming viewers. This particular video generated almost 3 million clicks. However, we're not going to watch all the 30 scary videos today. We're going to watch just one, the one that you can see in the background there of the nikah, of the Islamic wedding. Guys, if you enjoy my content, do me the favor, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Number 28, Potential Possession. Will this couple live happily ever after? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video was originally posted on TikTok. The mysterious video of what appears to be a wedding party is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube wedding community. Party. A pair of newlyweds sit together with a forlorn look on their faces while an officiant reads through some documents or scripture with the wedding party gathered round. <laughs> We can assume all is normal, but a moment later something unsettling happens. Watch the bride-to-be. Oh, she's reacting to the Quran. What came over her? The eyes are rolling back. Her eyes grow wide as though she suddenly and becomes possessed like she by saw something. something. She then follows an unknown object above before having yeah. a strange fit and appearing to silently scream in pain. Did a Ooh. mysterious force from above possess her? Or did that force simply strike in that moment and cause her agonizing pain? It's hard for me to tell here what may have happened without further context or an extended video. But if I had to guess, I'd say something possessed her. It's all in the eyes. Number 27. Jins. All right, guys, and this is already it for today's very quick video. I would assume that this was Jin possession. Why? Because a friend of mine told me a story of him actually being possessed by a Jin. He told me that he felt drained, depressed, anxious, that he had a hole inside of himself, and he simply did not know how to get rid of that feeling. This is when he got the idea to go to the mosque. At that time, he wasn't practicing at all. At that time, he was not praying. However, he had the intuition to go to the mosque. Whilst entering the mosque, he all of a sudden got the feeling to run away again. He could not make himself go into the mosque. So he took his girlfriend with him at the time to enter with him. There, the Imam saw right away that he will need Rukia, Islamic exorcism. So the Imam started the Rukia, started reciting Quran on him. And after a couple of minutes, he started feeling better. This dark feeling started lifting off him. And without saying anything, my friend just turned around and left the mosque. 
He jumped on his scooter, his girlfriend started running after him and jumped on the scooter as well. But then he started laughing manically. His girlfriend knew that something was off, so she took the keys out of the scooter and turned him around. What she saw then, she could not believe. His whole face turned black and his eyes were rolled back, just like the lady here. And he was laughing and said, he almost got me. So his girlfriend ran into the mosque, got the imam out, and the imam realized this is a shayateen. And then he did again rukia on him. My friend does not remember anything from that moment out on. He blacked out, he passed out. However, the jinn was removed. And therefore, hearing such stories firsthand, I do believe that this was as well jinn possession. All right, guys, but this is it for today's quick video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.